Connecticut River Valley, July. The ride to the lake in midsummer is like tracing a finger down the spine of my ancestors. The familiar road, its gentle curves, flanked by the velvet green of the flat expanses beyond the shoulders, laden now with potatoes, onions, corn, tobacco, leads from my head to my heart to my past. Following a sputtering tractor along the alluvial plain with fallow barns and glittering river whose waters once rose to the farm's doorstep and deposited black gold that when scratched sprouts my mother's childhood alongside her grandparents, backs bent in the fields where my people have tended their blueberries and pickled the July sunshine for generations. Then suddenly up into the canopy, different greens entirely, fields yield to forest, the sharper turns, the ascension build anticipation for the salvation that awaits in the cool water in the cinder block cottage where picnics taste like family. At my destination, my finger comes to rest on a mind's eye memory of my six-year-old self, bare feet sticky with pine pitch, wrapped in a towel, long hair dripping, sun drunk, slapping mosquitoes, watching water skiers while sipping punch from a Dixie cup and nibbling a clown shaped cupcake baked by my grandmother for every child she ever loved. <laughs>